Conan Doyle almost created Baker Street out of nothing. I quite often come in by coach from where I live and it turns into Baker Street and I get off there and the, and the coach driver says, uh, next stop Baker Street. And I enjoy immensely of hearing the tourist or someone say, ah, Sherlock Holmes. And that's what it's known for. Baker Street, in London terms, is actually a fairly new street. It was laid out in the 18th century on land bought, either by a developer called Baker or from somebody who was named Baker. Um, but that's where the Baker Street comes from. It's got nothing to do with bread. Why he chose Baker Street, which is a fairly unremarkable road now, uh, and was then, when he wrote the first story, he said that he'd never been to London. So he didn't know London at that point. Um, he then started medical practice, first with a friend in Plymouth and then on his own in Southsea, a suburb of Portsmouth. And he said, quite famously, to a friend, how do you like the view of London in my first Sherlock Holmes story? I worked it all out from a post office map. We do know, actually, that Conan Doyle had been to Baker Street once when he was a young man. So he wrote home to his mother and told him how much he enjoyed his visit to Madame Tussauds and especially the Chamber of Horrors. In those days, the famous waxwork museum, Madame Tussauds, was in Baker Street, not in the Marylebone Road at the top of Baker Street. He must have been in Baker Street. And maybe just when he looked at the map, he saw this, probably the one street he knew in London, apart from where his aunt lived, and thought, well, that'll do. I don't know, that's speculation, but he had been in Baker Street, we know that, as a boy.